Friends, my name is Dr. Hemant Madan. I am Professor in Cardiology, Director and Regional Clinical Lead, North India at Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Gurugram. Friends, you all know that the world in its entirety is going through a terrible time in the form of this pandemic uh, called the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has hit us in multiple waves. India is presently going through the second wave or just about the end of the second wave. What we have now started realizing is that many patients who have either suffered from COVID or who have recovered from COVID are now coming to us with many cardiac issues. These cardiac problems are essentially of three different types. The commonest type of cardiac problems that we are encountering is variations of heart rates and variation of heart rhythms. Many patients during recovery or soon after recovery come to us with either very fast heart rates or very slow heart rates. What we need to understand is that the COVID virus also affects the heart, particularly the conduction system of the heart, the electrical system of the heart and therefore can cause both fast heart rates and slow heart rates. Fast heart rates can be managed with medical medications. Slow heart rate, we usually leave them alone unless a patient has symptoms such as fainting or giddiness. So if you suffer from a fast heart rate or a slow heart rate after you've recovered from COVID, you must understand that it is not unusual and must consult a cardiologist immediately. The second form of heart disease uh, we are encountering in patients who have recovered from COVID is a tendency to form increased blood clots. We have encountered many patients who have suddenly died or suddenly collapsed because of increased tendency to form blood clots. This is more than the usual uh, formation of blood clots. These blood clots form both on the right side as well as on the left side of the heart. Though right side blood clot formation is a little more than left side blood clot formation. Uh, a safe test and an easy test to diagnose higher propensity or higher chances of blood clot formation is to do something called a D-dimer test. And if D-dimers are elevated, then these patients should be given blood thinning medicines for a period of at least four to six weeks. The final way in which heart can get affected in COVID patients is by direct involvement of the heart muscle uh, leading to a poor pumping action. This is extremely, extremely rare. Very few cases are reported, but it is well known that patients can have poor pumping action of the heart. Should we get a routine echocardiography done for all patients who are recovering or recovered from COVID? No, a routine echocardiography is not yet indicated for patients who have recovered from COVID, but certainly for patients who continue to have fatigue, continue to have breathlessness, continue to have uh, variations in the heart rhythm, an echocardiography test and an ECG test is desirable to come to know the reason for uh, these symptoms. So friends, uh, cardiac involvement is fairly common in patients who have recovered or who are recovering from COVID. However, there is nothing to worry. Most of these things will settle with time, but you should contact a cardiology center for any kind of help or advice if you suffer from any of these symptoms. Thank you.